All right. Good morning, St. Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to point out a few items in today's bulletin. Let me get to that first. Okay. It's, anyways, on December 1st, there is a United Methodist Women's Christmas meeting. Then on the 3rd, we have a day school advisory board. By the way, the Christmas meeting is at 6.30 and the day school advisory board is at 6.15. Then on the 7th, the children's program is at 4.30. You should come and watch that. <laughs> this, and also on that day, the men's spouse dinner is at Red Lobster, 6.30. Then the handbell program on the 14th at 6.30. And 4.30? It says, it says 6.30 on mine. Okay, and then we have caroling on the 21st. Yay, caroling. And Mr. Rich, anything about the Advent Bible study? Any other announcements? The children's Christmas program, the rehearsals are on Sundays at 4 p.m., so yay, you get to watch that later. And if there are no more announcements, yes, all right. There are no more announcements, and let's prepare our hearts for worship with the youth chimes.
morning. Could you um, please bow your heads and open in prayer? Dear God, as the youth today are conducting this um, service in honor of you, we want to say how gracious we are for everything that you give us. We ask that you know when you ask us to do things for you, Lord, that we that we are we are bold in what you ask us to do. Because we are thankful for all the things that you give us, Lord, I ask that you know today we truly learn from the youth who are conducting the service for you, Lord, and. Um, I pray that, you know, this not only touches the hearts of the people here, but I, I pray that you, um, you, you're here with us today, Lord, that you touch someone's heart, someone who maybe needs the um, lessons that we're trying to teach today. Amen. Please stand and join in singing um, number 694 in the hymnal, Come Ye Thankful People Come. Please remain standing and join me with the affirmation of faith found in your hymnal on page 881. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now offer signs of peace to one another. Also, please provide any prayer requests to any of the children coming up as they come for children's moment. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you, May. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <coughs> May everyone please be seated. Thank you. No, I'm i I'm gonna say it. Is that all the prayer requests? Are there any other prayer requests out there that we've missed? Hello, are, have we missed any prayer requests? Any? May the children come up. Yeah, it's crazy.
That's my job, Mr. Rich. we bow our heads in prayer as we hear these names. Lord, please bless these people. We're going through a season of distractions and some, some experiences may be painful, but Lord, please help us stay true to your word and help these people that we have in our hearts and our minds. Norma Oliver, the Dingle family. Ian Thompson. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Jean Massillon. Lily. Mary Simers. Kitty and Steve Duncan. The 
the Cuter family, and the Power family. Francis Bledsoe, Ann Willis, Pat and Rex Connor, Edna Grant, our church, our youth, and our country. Steve Ross and family, Hannah Warren. Lord, we hear these names. Please help us keep it close to our minds and our hearts. For all these things we pray, as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Will the ushers please come forward as we worship with his tithes and our offerings. Okay, today's responsive reading comes from Psalm 136, 1 through 9, and, oh yeah, you may have seen, and 23 through 26. After each sentence, please respond with, by saying, His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To, who, oh, to him who alone does great wonders. His love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens. His love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters. His love endures forever. Who made the great lights. His love endures forever. The sun to govern the day. The moon and stars to govern the night. His love forever. To the one who remembered us in our low estate. His love and freed us from our enemies. His love and who gives food to every creature. His 
Give thanks to the God of heaven. morning. All right. Can I just start off by saying I'm nervous and I'm going to mess up. So, yeah. <sighs> Please join me in the prayer of illumination found in your bulletin. Lord, open our minds by the power of your Holy Spirit that as the scriptures are read and your word proclaimed, we may hear with transforming joy what you say to us today. Amen. So I'll be reading Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19, through the King James Version. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were leapers, lepers, Leper <laughs> lepers, which stood far, afar off. They lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said un unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. Yourselves un what? Go show yourselves unto the priests. And as it came to pass, as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back with a loud voice, glorified God. 
He fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus answering, saying, Were there were not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? There are not found to return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto them, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks be to God. And Tabor, what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Going on the boat with Jackson and Miss Erin. Oh, very cool. And Hudson, what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Um, going on a boat ride with my daddy and my brother, fishing, and get my fishing rod and go fishing and get a big fishy so I can um, cut it up so I can cook it and eat it on my plate. Isn't that wonderful that, that God provides all those things for us to do? Mm -hmm. Very cool. And Jackson, what are you thankful for? Um, 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 um we're going to try to let's grab all the rocks and all trash. Your crane that drops all the rocks and the garbage truck toys that you have? Uh -huh. Oh, wonderful. Can everybody say Happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving! What are you thankful for? Uh, my family, friends, Dunkin' Donuts, and Krispy Kreme. <laughs> and Jesus? What are you thankful for? My sister and my family for always being here with me. No, stop! With Thanksgiving coming up, what are you thankful for? Probably my family and this church for getting me involved in music and stuff. Hey Coleman, with Thanksgiving coming up, 
What are you thankful for? Well, Logan, I'm thankful for my family, my health, and my ability to come to church with the wonderful people of St. Paul. outside. I don't like that. It's, it needs to be sunny. Um, yeah, that's why we got the inside, and it's bright in here. So um, Rich texted my mom last weekend and asked me, asked if I would do the sermon, and I was like, oh gosh, I'm not a preacher. I don't know how to do a sermon, but I prayed about it all week, and so sorry if you don't like it, but <laughs> it's what it is. Um, I, it probably isn't that all organized, but um, that's what Rich, Rich wanted to read it. I was like, I really, I really don't have it all written down. It's just kind of, you know, in my noggin. So, um, but <laughs> as we were reading the scripture, I was thinking to myself that those other nine men that got healed of the leprosy seem really ungrateful. Like, that's just rude that, like, to get healed of that and then not even say thank you. It's kind of like somebody, like, you know how you, like, say thank you if somebody holds a door open, you know, small things like that? Well, like, I just took your sickness away, and you're not even going to say thank you? I mean, leprosy sounds horrible. You had to be, you were like an outcast if you had leprosy. You had to be, like, in caves by yourself. You, you couldn't socialize with other people, normal people back is what they called them. Um, and so it sounds, like, they sound, those other nine men that got healed of the leprosy like that, it's just... So, seems to us like it's really ungrateful of them. It's really unthankful. But if you think about it, we can be the same way sometimes because we have a lot of blessings in our lives that we don't really see because we can get caught up in all the bad things or the negative things and we can ponder on those things and we can be bitter and not think about all the good things. For example, I've had 20 allergic reactions in the past year and a half, and I've had to stab myself in the leg each time. So I could be really bitter about that. I, I, I would have the right to be. I, I, you have a choice. You can be bitter or you can be thankful. I could be bitter about the fact that I've had 20 allergic reactions and I've had to go to the hospital each time, and it's interrupted whatever I was doing. But instead, I'm thankful that I survived all of those and that it'll be a week tomorrow since my last reaction, so. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I think the longest record is like a month, a month, maybe, if that, yeah. Yeah, yeah one day at a time, so. But, um, <laughs> thank you. We have an option, is you can, you can ponder on, the, on all, the, of, all of the negative things in your life, or you can be thankful for what you have. And that's what I think the, the two main things to be able to give thanks is optimism and trust. You have to be optimistic because you could just have a horrible day, but you have to find the, the good things in it. You have to find, you have to look for the good things. It's kind of like, um, if you have two ice cubes in your hand, say, or I actually had to do this once. I had an ice cube in my hand, and um, my la the lady was talking to me. She said, how, how does that ice cube feel? She's like, is it burning yet? Does it hurt? Does it, does it really hurt? It, it, it was burning really bad. And um, I think I lasted like 45 seconds. And so we did it again, but we put an ice cube in this hand, and we tried it all over. And she was like, who's your favorite um, artist? I was like, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and so we, we were talking about Miley Cyrus, and I went like a minute and 45 seconds, I think. So 45 seconds pondering on how much it hurt and how bad it was, I went a minute and 45 seconds not even thinking about it. So you have to focus on all of the good things in your life, and you have to be able to thank God for that. Like, um, I've been through a lot in the past year. 
and I lost a lot of friends at school. Not a big deal to me because obviously they weren't my friends. But I could just be really bitter about that. You know, go to school. I don't like any of you guys. I, I'm just kidding. I do. But um, I could say I don't have any friends, you know. But instead, I, I'm thankful that God showed me that now because he showed me that they aren't my real friends and that I don't, I don't need to stick with them if they're going to be like that. I mean, I have my church family. I have you guys. And I have the youth. And, I mean, I, they've been my family for as long as I remember. We, I have pictures with Morgan Wiesner, like, in matching dresses on Easter when we were, like, this tall. And so, <laughs> I mean, and I couldn't wear heels then, so we couldn't kind of be the same. But, um, but yeah, like, you, you have to be able to get past all the negative things to see the good things and be thankful for them. Um, the people, I, it was really, every year, it's eye-opening, is Saugahatchee. You go to Saugahatchee, and you see these people with no running water, holes in their roofs, um, no plumbing, you know, no air conditioning, like, sick, and they are the most grateful and thankful people for what they do have. And um, it's always eye-opening because they always say that you changed their life. And it's honestly, for me, they changed my life when I go. Because you think, I know I've got caught up before saying, oh, I want that iPhone, not, not this one. This one's bad. At least I have a phone. I'm grateful that I have a phone. Um, and I mean, it's really easy to get caught up in the bad things. And I know I'm only 15, and I'm preaching to a bunch of adults but um, I've been, I had to grow up a lot in the past year, and, it's, and my faith has gotten a lot stronger through it all. And um, that's where I, this has made, like, through this past year, trust has been the biggest thing with God. Um, you have to trust that he knows what he's doing, and he has you on a path to where you're going, and you might not like the path, but it's part of his plan for you. And he does have a plan, and he has an outcome, and it's going to be a glorious outcome. You might not know what that is, but that's why you have to trust. And you can say you trust all the time. You can say, I trust, but it's, until things, it's not until things get hard when you realize that you actually trust. Um, and I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm obviously, I'm not perfect. I, I don't, I, I am ungrateful a lot. Um, I don't always, I, everybody slips up, but you have to trust that it's God's plan and be thankful that he has a plan for you and he knows what he's doing and he knows where you're going. Um, if you, and if it really comes down to it, if you, if you can't, if you are optimistic and you try to trust and you just can't think of anything you're grateful for, you just like, you just can't think of anything like that you have that's amazing. I mean, you all have a church family, so that's number one. Um, but if you really feel like you don't have anything, be thankful that you have a loving God, a loving, forgiving God. The, a God that sent down his one and only son to die on the cross for you because he knew that you would mess up. Everybody sins every day, different ways, but he sent his son to die for you so you would be able to live and have eternal life. If you can't find anything else to be thankful for, that is definitely one thing you can be thankful for. Um, I mean, I have a lot of things to be thankful for. I'm thankful. I have a wonderful family, um, wonderful youth group, wonderful church family. Um, I was actually talking to somebody the other day, and we were 
talking about getting nervous in front of crowds, I was like, I always get nervous in front of crowds. I was like, the one crowd I don't get nervous in front of, though, is my church. They were like, why? I was like, because they're, they're like my family. I was like, that's my church family. They're not, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to judge me. or I mean, they might, but I don't really care. <laughs> Morgan does, but that's okay. Um, um, I still love her. Um, but if you really, really this week is just, Thanksgiving is about giving thanks. And if you really, if you feel like you don't have anything to give thanks for, which you do, I promise you do. Um, I mean, for example, you're here right now. That's one thing. To be able to come and come to church with all of the other people and hear God's word um, with these wonderful people. Help doing the service, um, you have a God who is forgiving and loving and who sacrificed himself just for you. And that's, there's a song, it's, he knows, he knows my name, um, but he knows your name, he knows how many hairs are on your head, he knows how many inches your feet are. He knows everything about you. And that's something nobody that compare nobody compares to that. Nothing compares to that. God's love is everlasting and nothing anybody could ever have or do for you could ever outdo that. So if you're if if you need something to be thankful for, you can be thankful for God. Well, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Okay, please stand and join us in the closing hymn, Give Thanks, which is found in the Faith We Sing, number 2036.